Let's get started. This is Alexandra. I'm so excited about this one because again, more curls coming from Beltress. And that is just so exciting to me because it seems that they all have a little bit of something unique to offer. And it's not every day that I see this beautiful red. So now this is supposed to be a beach wave bob, but more of an updated pattern to it. And I think what they mean by that is, yeah, and it's kind of obvious to see, these curls are a little more intact than your typical Beach Wave by Beltress. Um, it seems that they're more blunt cut as opposed to that really texturized uh, look on some of them. Boy, is that gorgeous, isn't it? I think the red really enhances some of that. Um, but we're gonna take a look at the cap here too. I'm gonna remove the tags. Oh my goodness, how stunning is this? The shape of it, this color, um, it really reminds me, just right out of the box, and I haven't tried this on or anything yet, but it really reminds me of the Beltress's Kona in its shape, so we will have to see. Now again, I feel like that curl is going to be a little bit different than Kona, and let's take a look. The cap is definitely different than Kona. Kona features, and I'm going from memory here, but it features their creative lace front, which is a temple to temple lace front that does not extend, and then um, a left monofilament side part. What you're gonna find on this one is a, an amazing upgraded cap. So right here on Alexandra, you have, look at that lace front. It extends all the way back through the ear tab. It is nicely contoured. A very wide mouth parting space and then a long, a long and wide monofilament part. I love that. It looks like you're definitely going to be able to get the illusion of scalp through those monofilament features. This is your typical Beltress cab, lots of wefting, typically lots of stretch, um, a closed velvet ear tab, an extended velvet nape with the pull strap type adjusters. Now you notice I haven't made any adjustments. We're going to try it on and then I'll assess the fit before I make the adjustment. All right, so let's go ahead and try it on. Then I'll remove it, make the adjustment and go to work on this. Um, this is a great way for you to see it right out of the box. See how I work on it. See how I make it my own. Okay. The fit is, uh, like, I, like I said, I feel like it's a little bit big on me. I am going to have to make an adjustment, but overall, it's not too bad. Now, what you can see is some variance in sizing from piece to piece. But I have noticed that with Beltress and even a brand like Raquel Welch is that on the shorter styles, there seems to be a little bit less stretch. Uh, it seems to accommodate my head a little easier for some reason. So do expect those variances. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm just gonna make a typical adjustment for this. All right, then I'm just gonna shake it, a curly wig. Somebody asked me if I typically shake out my wigs even on long wigs. On long straight wigs, I don't, uh, I'm not aggressive with it. Um, first of all, I don't think it's needed. I just get in there and kind of swirl at the base just to wake everything up. But with curls, everything is so tightly compacted. And even with wavy styles or heavily layered styles, you just need to wake them up. And so that's what I'm doing here. Gosh, <laughs> I could not love that curl anymore just because it's so messy and cute and whimsical. It's cute. I like it. All right, let's go ahead and reapply after the adjustment. Perfect. So this one has less baggy cap around than my other Beltress. So for some reason, and again, that could be just uh, an anomaly. So now I'm just gonna find a parting space. And I'm gonna do that in my mirror because the camera is a terrible substitute for a mirror. Okay, and then I kind of lift and fluff the layers. That brings air into the layers. It sets the fiber free. Uh, they can move a little more naturally. The last thing you want to do is plaster these down to your head. In fact, 
if that's your intention, you probably shouldn't get the style <laughs> because I feel like these just need to be free. The curls are firm. Have you noticed? They're kind of firm and more intact, and I think that's what they mean by that updated beach wave look. So they're still deconstructed, obviously. In the front, you're gonna see about a nine inch layer, okay? But overall, it's about 12 inches. So I feel like there is just a little graduated layering in the back where the crown meets the nape. And I think that is what reminds me so much of the Kona. But Kona has that extreme shattered, tapered texture, um, whereas these are a little more blunt cut. This is a little more blunt cut and it's a little more intact. I call it a noodley look. And you can definitely get in there and manage that to your taste and preference. So I kind of like it right out of the box with just a few shakes. Some of you may want to go in and further separate that with like a wide tooth comb uh, or a wig safe brush. Now I will caution you that if you do brush this, you may have to use some water and scrunch it back into shape. This is heat friendly from the Cafe, the cafe Collection. Um, you can take heat to this, but again, I've said this so many times, there's so many wigs available in ready-made styles that I would hate to straighten this one. You're just never ever going to reclaim this curl pattern if you decide to straighten it. Fortunately or unfortunately, they did not have a blonde pre launch sample available. And so I chose this red and I enjoy showing a variety on my channel, but I'm gonna have to get this in a beautiful belt truss blonde and there are so many blondes to choose from. Let's talk about this sumptuous strawberry though. Sumptuous strawberry by my own eye. It just, it rather looks like a medium auburn brown base tone. And then you have some, uh, like a medium copper highlight in there, as well as more of a neutral blonde highlight. And that really accents uh, this color. The important thing to know here is this is a more of a subdued red than you will find on the Cayenne with Ginger Root, which is another red by Beltrust. That's a little more brilliant in its coppery tones. Um, this one is what I would consider to be a beautiful, realistic, everyday red. Now, obviously, you still would have had to go to the salon for a color like this, but it's not, it's not a brilliant, glowing red. It's just an everyday, beautiful red. Now, this is rooted. I just about forgot about that. So we do have a medium brown root there. It transitions beautifully, adds a little depth and dimension to this color. I'm in love with this color. Will I wear it? Probably not, just because it isn't who I am. Um, but I've enjoyed showing it for sure. So let's get up close on this lace front now that I've explained this color. So... This is your extended lace front. It's beautiful. The knotting is very fine there. Can't even tell where those knots begin and your hairline ends. It's beautiful, isn't it? And then you've got the left monofilament side part. I'm not noticing any seams because it's extended. So many different uh, ways to wear this with these beautiful cap features, isn't it? Alexandra weighs just over four ounces and has a really just an average density. There's very little per, little to no permatease on this style, like so many of the other ones in the Cafe Collection by Beltras. So I think this is very uh, this is very consistent with that brand and that collection. So I'll do a little spin for you here in indoor light and outdoor light, and then we're going to do some styling for Alexandra because this is how we get to really know a style. Let's try with glasses, 
as expected. Glasses fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab on this style as they do on most bell truss styles. So let's go ahead and just manipulate this around. Um, I will uh, do a little brush out here and then uh, we'll do try an ear tuck. We'll do a number of things to inspire you to style your wigs and toppers. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you soon right here on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.